Hello, it's Cheryl Willis over at Go Arizona Real Estate with EXP coming at you with the January 2024 monthly market update and a little brief look back at 2023. As we finish the year, we two big parts were this. Number one, from December 2022 to December 2023, we saw a median appreciation of 6%. Um, some areas is much higher, like for instance, luxury in many cases were much higher. And in some of the adult communities, we actually might have seen maybe a plateau. But again, that median, it was 6%. So all those naysayers and all the frantic YouTubers telling you the market was going to crash, that's not so much the case. And remember, the whole purpose to raise interest rates was to stop the craziness and to reduce our inflation. Now, some things have also come down uh, in, the, in, in reference to housing. Um, not only did prices originally come down and then they came back again with that 6% year over year, but we're seeing things like pools that once upon a time were like 60, 70, 80,000 just for the basic. They're as low as $40,000. Actually, I saw another pool builder that was um, doing... $30,000 for base price. So we're seeing that uh, come into play. And so it's going to be a very healthy market in 2024. That's my prediction. I don't think we're going to see anything gangbuster, like it's not going to go up 10, 20%. I think that we're going to see another moderate 6 to 8%. This is the closest that you can get to a healthy, balanced market and still have values go up. When we look at what the Cromford Market Index is showing, they always measure from a seller's perspective. So as you see, the end of the year, it started to go down. And that's not value. So this is the temperature, the pulse of the market. And this is very common in the December timeframe. December is the most smoking deals. And I can't even, I, it's unbelievable what many of our clients closed in December on, like what they got. They got low interest rates. They got huge seller concessions. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it, it's behind us now. Right. But as now we approach buyer season and interest rates are coming down, we're starting to see that index go up. And when that goes up, we are going to see the market change. So this is why we're right now at that cusp of if you are not the perfect buyer, this is the perfect market for you. What exactly do I mean? Let me tell you. The market, like I said, will change as interest rates change. As we closed December, we saw more than 49% of the transactions that had some sort of seller concessions. These concessions aren't limited to just the entry level buyers. We had a client at 1.2 price point that received 2% towards closing costs. That $25,000 was used to buy down their rate. And this is where buyers that are on the fence right now um, you need to get yourself at least pre-qualified and ready to hit the hit hit the market as soon as the ideal property comes on the market. And 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 here's here's what I mean. First of all, we don't have a lot of resale in the greater Phoenix area. Most people are still being drawn to the con new construction. So let me point out also in the greater Phoenix area, new construction is majority on the outskirts of town. There are some areas like in Levine and Tolleson that look like they're in the middle of the uh, town, but when you go out to that new construction, we're getting feedback that it still feels very rural. You either have very rural or very not, not so nice neighborhoods around those areas. I do believe that those areas are going to be up and coming, but not something that's going to happen over the next couple of years. Maybe Levine a little bit more, but Tullison is going to take a little bit longer. So again, if you want to have conversations with us, you have to give us a call so we can give you our input on those areas. So it was it, many people are quite surprised. We don't have a lot of new construction on the inside of the Phoenix metro area. Now, here's the other thing. I come from the Bay Area. So for me, I it's it was normal to have a 45 minute commute. A friend of mine had an hour and a half commute each way. Now, I don't anticipate that happening just yet in the greater Phoenix area, but it is starting to get that way. And what I mean by that is, again, people are being drawn to the new constructions because new constructions because the builders are offering, like you, lenders can't compete with builders lenders right now. I'll be honest with you. And resale sellers, 
know that they need to ante up or pony up money in order to compete with them. The only thing that the resale has um, is is like closer proximity, like in Chandler or Gilbert or Scottsdale. There's just lot a lot of new construction in those areas. So here's what you got to do, though, in order to get in with new construction right now. Number one, you have to be able to qualify for a home today, even if it's not closing for a couple of months or let alone the end of this year. The builders do not want to get stuck with a buyer that can't perform and then they have to put it back on the market. They do not want those type of properties coming back on the market. In fact, more builders than not are doing spec only communities right now. They are only releasing specs that are almost being done, like already done right now or might be done in a month or two. This is also what has enabled them to they're borrowing money in huge chunks it's called a forward commitment they're borrowing i'm just going to pick a number five million dollars and then they are going to loan out that five million dollars at the interest rate they are comfortable with some of them like i said are in the fours we've seen 4.25 only one builder 4.99 is starting to become more norm five and a half and 5.75 easy all day long with builders but again these are only on their homes that they're going to close quickly because once they use all that five million dollar bucket it's not being offered so that's why they're not giving it to anybody that has a longer term process. In fact, there's another builder, um, it's a 55 plus community, Del Webb, they were giving, oh my gosh, still, it, by the if you close by the end of February, they already were doing price reductions. They were already giving like 5% towards closing costs and buy down. But if you closed by the end of February, you got an extra $20,000. Like it was, it, it's absolutely ridiculous. And again, it's because these builders want to get these homes sold. Again, they've learned that fives are the magic number. So if you're thinking about buying, you have to have all your ducks in a row, even with new construction. Back in the day when you used to be able to walk into a builder, write an earnest check for $2,500 and then wait a year to close are not happening right now. I don't want to say a thing in the past because it might come back. You're going to get the best deals on the quick move-ins. And that means it has to be non-contingent and you have to be qualified. So in the end, guys, let me just reiterate again. Today is the perfect market for the not-so-perfect buyer. If you need assistance in any way, whether it's paying for your closing costs, buying down your rates, or even getting appliances thrown in, right now is a fantastic time to buy. Two takeaways, guys. Number one, Fed rates are coming down sometime this year. No one knows when, but when rates go down, so will concessions. So if you are looking for some sort of assistance, whether it's closing costs, buying down rates, it, it could even be appliances and other things, you just got to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, days, nights, or weekends, we got you back when moving to Phoenix, Arizona, and we can't wait to hear from you.